Hi everyone, I'm Lucas uh, from Fixed Position, and today I'm really happy ab about telling you that I can tell you about what we were working on in the last uh, one to two years. And you might know us already. Uh, so, Fixed Position, we're building this high precision positioning sensor, real time high precision positioning sensor. Uh, it's basically a RTK INSS system. Uh, RTK INS system, um, but what we did, we added a camera, and that's why we can also operate in environments um, which are uh, which have a very bad GNSS reception. Um, but to start off with, to quickly tell you a little bit about our company, um, we are still a startup, but we are around for six years already, and in the six years, we really, I think, nobody until now managed to perform that well in real time and that precise in such challenging environments than we did with our uh, Vision RTK2 sensor. Um, as a company, uh, we have customers all over the world, and we are very proud also about uh, our partners. Um, we have an investor and customer, uh, Segway, um, Movella Xsense, which many of you might know, um, is uh, one of our partners and a global distributor for us, and at the same time, uh, Topcon, since we have an RTK GNSS uh, product, we need correction data. And there we partnered with Topcon to provide correction data in Europe and the US. At the same time, we're from Switzerland, Zurich. Um, Ublox, one of the leading providers of GNSS uh, chips or modules in the world, is also from Zurich. Uh, so basically, they're our neighbors, they're buddies, and also our suppliers. As a spin out of uh, the Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich, uh, we're also very well embedded in the ecosystem with contacts to universities, to the European Space Agency, and others. And we're also very proud that we acquired or that we attracted one of or some of the globally most well known investors from the US in, in uh, Silicon Valley, but also from Europe and from Asia. So, um, let's have a quick look at the issue we're solving. I mean, we're at the interview here, so many of you know this, right? Um, the RTK GNSS is centimeter precise. It's awesome um, if you're out on the open field. But as soon as you get into an urban environment, you get into trouble because the GNSS reception is just not good enough anymore, and you're not on centimeter level anymore, but more on meter or even worse. Um, as I mentioned before, at the moment with our real-time product, uh, Vision RTK2, we're solving this by adding an IMU and a camera to the system. And internally, our software is fusing all these measurements, we call it deep sensor fusion, uh, on board in real time, so we can gap wherever GNSS reception is bad and keep a centimeter precision in all environments. So just an example, um, this was one of the tra tra trajectories we recorded with our sensor. Uh, it was on a small robot. Uh, we didn't use any wheel speed or something. And uh, we were in a parking garage, 1.7 kilometers. And in this 1.7 kilometers, we had a maximum error of, of 3 meters, um, which, if you look at drift over distance, is roughly 0.2% of drift. You see it's a little bit tilted because we in this while we were circling, we acquired a little bit of angular drift. But in general, this is um, very useful already for customers all over the world. Looking at such customers, um, this product at the moment is used in several industries. For example, agricultural robots. Uh, that's very big in the US, in these big orchards they have there. Um, but also for utility robots, street sweepers, autonomous street sweepers are coming up all over the world. Um, and also commercial. Uh, lawn mowers, commercial landscaping robots, and um, consumer landscaping robots, basically the robots everybody or many people already have at home mowing their lawns every day. At the same time, we also have some customers operating in warehouses. But looking into that, there is also a market which all of you know very well, or many markets, which uh, need even more, even higher precision uh, positioning, but they don't need it in real time. So that's what we built, the, what I'm going to present to you today, Xfusion Cloud um, for. Um, for example, for LiDAR data, referencing, 
large scale inspection, di di digital twin data acquisition, uh, but also in drone inspection, high precision crop analytics, and forestry. These are all very challenging environments uh, for uh, GNSS based sensors, and we are uh, fixing this issue for all of them. So, this is the same trajectory as we had before again, 1.7 kilometers. Um, full GNSS outage, no signals at all, um, no wheel odometry or external uh, wheel speed input used. And you see we can reduce the error from the three meters we have before to roughly 0 0.3 meters. So we improved the error by a factor of 10. And this all happens in our X-Fusion post-processing or visual post-processing in the cloud. One very important very important point to look at is that a key differentiator compared to an INS GNSS system is that we are not blind. We have the camera data which we lock um, during operation. That means whenever we are coming back to a place which we saw before, we can correct for every, all the error um, that occurred until, until there or that occurred in this loop. So for example, if you see here on the, on the left, this is without any loop closure. Um, we're going around in this loop, and down here and up there it should overlap, but it doesn't overlap. Whereas looking into wherever we are activating loop closure, uh, these two trajectories overlap uh, on a centimeter level. So let's look a little bit deeper in some of the use cases um, which we are already looking at with customers. Digital twin building, a uh, big topic uh, for many of us here at Intergeo, and there it's super important to get accurate point cloud that we can measure, emerge sensor data from different sources. Maybe today we do some thermal imaging, tomorrow we scan the ground and we want to overlay all of that in a, in a digital twin. Uh, so repeatability is key, precision is key, and that's what Xfusion Cloud is doing uh, for us. Another use case very similar is basically um, large scale inspection, for example, crack analysis on, on a road. Again, we need high repeatability. Then basically here on a centimeter level, we need to know where it's, these cracks are. So when we come back in two months, we have to compare, OK, did they grow? How's the development of this crack? And at the same time, um, we might have several lanes next to each other of a road. So we need very good pass-to-pass. Uh, repeatability, so that also cracks that maybe go for, over full streets are connected to each other in different sweeps, and we can, we can do the stitching properly there. And by the way, we also tested that. Our loop closure algorithms, they also work if you're driving on a street on different lanes. So it's not that you have to drive exactly or, or walk exactly in the same place. It also works if you are in different lanes. Uh, the last use case I want to show you is uh, drone inspection. Um, for example, if we do drone inspection of infrastructure, uh, a bridge, for example, whenever we are on top of the bridge, um, users and drone operators are using GPS-based, uh, waypoint-based inspection. But as soon as we are below a bridge, um, they could operate with our sensor in real time. It's a tough use case, uh, but it could, could work, and some of them are doing it. But usually, they're still manually operating the drone to acquire the data. And at the moment, they have the problem that they cannot get the data centimeter precisely geotagged. And with Xfusion Cloud, they will be able to do that. So how will this look like? And I tried to be very, very simple. And I think we also developed that to be very simple. Um, as an acquisition sensor, you take one of our Vision RTK2 sensors, and you record data. Basically, you put this on top of your, of your vehicle. You can record your position data on a centimeter level. Um, it's super precisely timestamped. We also offer NTP and PTP uh, services to also timestamp your LiDAR or your other sensors uh, precisely. And you can either log directly on sensor, or you can connect it to your computer and log via Ethernet. After, after logging process, we have apps so you can directly upload it into the cloud where it will be automatically processed and then become available in our so-called dashboard where you can also do measurements and compare different data uh, or use our uh, Xfusion API 
uh, to automatically download and integrate it in your own application again. And we have several data formats already available, and we will make sure uh, they will be available um, when they're needed. So what are we doing today? So today, we are announcing uh, an early access program to this product. We are still partially in development, um, but we're looking for interested partners uh, that want to start testing it. And to sign up for it, you can scan this QR code or just write me an email at EAP, early access program, at fixposition.com. And of course, it's, it's exciting. You will be the first one to get access. But for us, it's also really important that uh, you have a good use case that um, fits the application and helps us and also you in the development process. Um, Big advantage of it is you will, ha you will be able to have uh, an impact into the development process. And at the same time, you will get uh, a 50% discount on our hardware. And you will be able to use the sensor during the whole early access program uh, at the service uh, for free. Very quick roadmap. So now we did the announcement. And in December, we will start testing with some uh, of the first early access program partners. Uh, we will then take more and more in over time. At the beginning, we will not have the API yet available, but you basically upload your data. It's getting post-processed, and it will be avail available in our visualizer, our dashboard. And in February, roughly, or end of February, March, we should have the API ready for you to also integrate it into your applications. Um, later, we will also, roughly in May, let's say Q2, we will also have a Rhinex GNSS data processing uh, available. And it, roughly in the middle of the year, uh, we then plan the public rollout of this. So thank you for your attention. I hope uh, this uh, sparked your interest. And I'm open to questions, either in English. Abrach auf Deutsch, was jemand Fragen hat. Vielen Dank.